Hello, I'm Joshua, and I want to talk about something that you might have experienced, even unconsciously. Most people would never guess that someone, for a good portion of their life, has felt like an outsider. They might think that because that person has a lot of friends and is constantly surrounded by people, he or she is an extrovert. And even that person may have that self-concept, and everyone believes that he or she is who everyone could rely on. But sometimes it takes years to realize that you might be a secret introvert with people-pleasing tendencies. And even though you're a social butterfly, you feel alone inside. But there are ways you can manage this and will help you feel more like yourself. Here are four tips that, if you find yourself feeling lonely, will help you achieve a greater sense of belonging. 1. Challenge your core beliefs. People who struggle with a poor sense of belonging have likely struggled with it for most of their life. For example, if you grew up feeling different, you might hold a core belief of, I do not belong. These types of core beliefs become sticky and begin to shape how you view the world. As you begin to go through life, your brain only pays attention to the evidence that will support the core belief, I do not belong, even if the overall experience is one where you do belong. 2. Practice unconditional self-acceptance. There's nothing lonelier than being with people and feeling alone. It's hands down one of the worst feelings. Because the logical part of you is screaming, how could you possibly feel alone right now? There are so many people to talk to. But your heart is saying, but I don't want to talk to anyone. No one understands me here. Well, a lot of feelings of loneliness stem from a deeper well of unworthiness. That people don't understand me don't get me, don't see me, and don't appreciate me. One of the only ways you'll be able to pull yourself out of the painful feelings of not belonging is to practice self-love and unconditional self-acceptance. If you can feel worthy all on your own, then the feeling of not belonging won't sting as much. 3. Make room for end. There are times when you feel like you belong with your friends but not with your family, or your work but not your company, or the white community but not the Asian community, or the Asian community but not the white community, or your marriage but not the location in which you live. Belonging is multifaceted, and it's important to respect the complexity of your feelings about the spaces in which you feel you do or do not belong. When you have different and conflicting identities, we must stress the importance of using the word and instead of or. It can be one thing and another at the same time, even if that's contradictory. Understanding that you can feel multiple ways allows you room to feel accepting of yourself. 4. Prioritize healing yourself. People would never be able to articulate the roots of their loneliness without the help of therapy and other expert resources. Investing in your own inner work and making your healing journey a priority is critical to achieving a sense of belonging. After all, we can't change behaviors, relationships, or mindsets that we aren't aware need changing. It is hard, especially in our increasingly divided world, to feel a sense of belonging. Social media makes it even harder by painting an unrealistic picture that no one else ever feels lonely. However, it's completely normal to feel lonely at times. And if that wave of loneliness washes over you, remember that you are loved, you are worthy, and you don't have to be anyone else but yourself. Thanks for watching, please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications bell to be always updated about our latest videos. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook as Instituto Ifisa. Goodbye.